Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. So I came to the realization today that I don't have a lot more wigs left in my room and I need my wigs. I have my throw on wigs and then I have my fancy wigs and I buy human hair wigs and I buy synthetic wigs. This one is one of the last ones standing, but we're gonna have to doctor her up cause she's looking a little rough. Anyways, yeah, she, it's fine. You know, I could go out in public. I could wear this still. It's quite cute. It was cute when I got it. It's very curly, but it's getting a little rag to tag for me. Um, and there's only so much that gel can do. Well, I have here what I usually use when I straighten my wigs. So, as I said, this one is a synthetic one. And you can just go straight for the hair when you're doing the synthetics that you can straighten. Um, they'll usually have labels on there that say it takes up to 400 degrees heat or whatever degree it is. Yeah, let me show you guys what I use. So I use the Chi Iron Guard um, Thermal Protectant Spray. It's a heat protectant. It's really good. I've used it on my hair a couple of times and it just leaves this very sleek, like nice shiny um, look to my hair. And I also liked it because all hair types can use it. I have to be really careful. I don't like using heat protectant unless I can use it on my hair. Like, let's be real. So even with my own hair, I do the comb through method. Um, you'll take the flat iron through and then you take the comb and you chase it. So chase method. There's probably different names for it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have a brush. You guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, one second, I'm gonna clean this out a little bit all better. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up my straightener. I got this when I was a sophomore in undergrad, so that was probably about six or so years ago. <laughs> I can't even tell you guys the price. I don't remember, but I think it was about 30 bucks. It was a really good one too. It's one of the ones where you can find it in like a Rite Aid and a Walgreens, and the quality is actually quite nice because I wasn't willing to spend like a hundred dollars on a straightener but now that i'm you know a little bit better off than i was back then maybe i will one of these days get myself a nicer straightener but for now we're gonna use mrs remington and i love that color like this is it's a cute straightener i'm not here for the straightener <laughs> so i don't know about you guys but i like to have my flat iron on something that can handle the heat I can't believe I started the video without doing that. <laughs> yeah, and I put it on one of my kitchen plates because I can just wash it off. It's worked in the past. I don't have any fancy holder for it, but yeah, that's what we're gonna use. I just start naming my wigs. What should we name her? What would she have been before the straightening and what would she be afterwards? I'm thinking Recipecia. So iron looks to be, I have it at 370 right now. Can you see that? And we're gonna go ahead and start it off. As I do with my actual hair, I try to take smaller chunks at a time. And since I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the curls anyway, like I do not mind going ahead and making those less curly. It is a very pretty wig when it's curly, so it's unfortunate that it got really rough. I bought it before too, like two years ago, and it didn't get um, as destroyed as it did this time, so I'm not sure what happened. But let's go ahead and show you guys how I start this off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my cheese spray and I am going to spray her on there. Oh, I think I broke it. Oh my gosh, no. Boop, 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 that's a flop. Okay, usually this works pretty well. Okay, so I've never had to do this before. I guess beware guys of the engineering of that. That's not very good. This is gonna make things a little bit more difficult, but I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure what happened there. Is there a lock mechanism? I know that's an issue sometimes. Okay, well, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use my finger then fingers. Sorry guys, <laughs> that's gonna put a little bit of a kink in things. 
might take me a little longer now because I can't spray directly on there, but that's usually what I do when I straighten my wig. So I take the chi and I... Okay, so I'm gonna put the chi on there, brush this out a little bit. It'd be so much easier if I had a head that would just stay, but she doesn't like to stay all the time, so. All right, guys, I think that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when I start to straighten it. Take the curl. And the first run through isn't usually the best. See how it's still very kinky. I have a brush. Well, obviously you guys saw that. <laughs> so we're gonna brush her out a little bit. Kind of like, you know, when you do your actual hair. Might take a couple pass-throughs. Do it again. Pretty sure I just touched a button, so I have to make sure I didn't turn it off. Nope. It's just kind of difficult to do when the head moves around. Like there are some days where I just, you know, put it in my lap and do this, but I thought this would be fun to show you guys. Come on, I just want this one part to get straight. As you guys can probably tell, it's starting to get a little straighter now. You will put a little bit more chi guard on because it's kind of not working with me right now. Now, you know, with synthetic hair, I'd be less worried about damaging it because it's not actual human hair. But I do care about the look, so I don't want to do too many more pass-throughs here. Just enough so that it's kind of straight for that part of the hair. Still a little bit of curl left there. I'm gonna try my hardest. Okay, guys. <laughs> I think you get the gist. Stay still, masturbation! Stay still! Normally, I don't even have to do this many passes, but it's hard now because Miss Retribution won't stay still. Yeah, I think that's gonna be enough because I can see. Let me show you guys. Looks pretty straight. Um, I'll have to go back through maybe if I care to, but yeah, that's one portion. Let's keep going around the head. Just like you would do with your hair, um, I grabbed a clip to separate the parts I haven't done yet away from the parts that still need to be done. So let's go ahead and put a rack. pick her up she's being stage shy it's really naughty so i'm gonna have to really wrangle through this in order to get it to look a little decent though let's go ahead put her back down
right, you guys. So I actually went and grabbed a hair tie because the weight of this clip is causing Miss Lisa Busha to act out. So I'm just gonna put it on. Hope that helps a little bit. Nope, she's still falling over. Reposition. Hey! Yay! All right, let's continue. Definitely see the shine in it, huh? <laughs> we got went overboard with the tree this time. You know what? I have an even better idea. I'm just gonna put it on my head now. All right, you guys, let's finish this off. Okay, I think that's as good as she's gonna get today, guys. As good as she's gonna get. Also, if anyone is curious, um, this right here is a part of the lace. Um, it wasn't, it didn't have a lot of lace. It just had some right in the middle. There's other wigs where you can have like an entire lace portion right here and you have to cut it off and style it however you like. I'm quite lazy with my wig regimen, so. But okay guys, this is the end result. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little spin of me head. Um, I would have loved to have kept it on the mannequin, but she wasn't cooperating. <laughs> but yes, Resibusha is all done. All right, yeah, that's, I usually don't spend that long on it. it usually takes me max 30 minutes. That was nearing about 45, 50. <laughs> But yeah, that's what you have to look forward to if you wanna straighten your wigs. I'm gonna have another few weeks out of this just cause I changed the style. And there are a few more kinks in there that I'm gonna work out if I wear this out for a long period of time, but I'm literally just gonna go to the gym today. So who cares? I'm gonna be looking rough anyway. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I usually do for my wig straightening and it doesn't look too bad and i can just use it as a throw-on wig that's all i care about i have another nice wig that i'm gonna style tomorrow for another video so i'll be looking less like a troll for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one very impromptu thought it would be fun sometimes it can be therapeutic to just sit and straighten your hair and to try to fancy yourself up or whatever but yeah she gonna be a toss-on wig for me all right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I am gonna go and do something productive or attempt to like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments. Tell me about your day. Don't tell me about your day. We're vibing over here. I'll catch you guys on the next one.